Hi everyone, the Pokemon Fan 93 here, back with more TSG Online Random Battles. Now, um, I've been working to get more coins up here, as you can see. Oh, you can't see because I don't have the cruiser. In the upper right, you can see I have 753 Poke Coins. Every 200 Poke Coins gives me a booster pack, and every 500 gives me a Sparkers deck if I choose to get it that way. So here we have my active challenges. I've been using Fire and Dark a lot, so we're actually going to go into my Psychic deck. We're going to use that. I have not used my Psychic deck in quite a while. Probably could be updated, but I'm going to ignore that. Let's have a look at it first. Okay, so I have the Pete of and all that. Yeah, that seems pretty standard. Whoops. Okay, so I forgot I had that actually. Okay, so this one has the Mew V, and I actually do remember doing that. But before I do that, I think I can do something real quick. Where are we for a sec, guys? I think I actually have an extra, another Mew V I can put in this deck. Uh, let's see. Which one, where would it be? Right there. Uh, we're going to go to Edit. I think I have another Mew. I could have sworn I got it off like a pack or something. Yes, I have another Mew V. I also had this one. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of my... Uh, we're going to make this a full psychic deck. Put some. I'm gonna put first of all. I'm gonna put my other Mew in here, Mew V, and we're gonna put that Mew in there, and we're gonna put GX. Yeah, that card's not gonna be useful. So let's put one of each of the Mewtwo's in there. Holographic and non-holographic, and then I'm gonna search real quick for a sec sub psychic Pokemon, and we're going to actually edit this deck just slightly. Owl Cream V Max is pretty good. Um, what else we got here? Can I search for st for single stage? Basic and stage one. Let's do that. Oh, that that's not what I want. I just want to do that then. Cresselia. Hmm. That would be good, but uh, I don't like it. I don't like its attacks. Oh, these are the same card, they're just different art styles. That's pretty cool. Guard of War V, Magical Shot 30, Swilling Wind. Alright. I'm going to guess what I say normally, because I, now I have... Let's get, Actually, let's get rid of um, this one here. I don't think I'm going to need that. I never was a fan of the GX tag team anyway. I'm not going to do that one, because I know what that one deals with. good card. Alright. Okay, maybe I should refund myself, because I never actually said this myself, but my problem with Pokemon V cards, I don't think I've ever brought this up, is the fact that people will throw random V cards. Like, I've seen, like, four or five different types. At least mine are all psychic. Maybe I'm kind of to myself saying that, but... What else we got here? I need one more Pokemon, basically. I'm not going to do another V. this. Hmm. Um. Okay, I can't use that card because of the ability. I'm trying to think what I could put in here besides that. Mars Shadow. I don't like that though. Um, what about Lunatone? Let's do Lunatone. Let's put Lunatone in there. All right. I apologize for you guys making me wait for making you, you guys wait for like four and a half minutes while I edit this deck, but I think it's going to make the deck better. I'm going to go Versus. Alright, so we're going to try this out. I think this would be a good good fit. So Psychic Pokemon usually uh, revolve around doing putting damage on the Pokemon unspecified without doing any actual damage. And 
by the amount of energy attached to either Pokemon some Pokemon. All right, well that did start off good. I got no, I got no basic Pokemon. That's a nice start. It doesn't actually mean anything though. It just means he gets to draw one additional card. Yeah, so now I'm gonna have to Mulligan, reshuffle, draw seven more, seven different cards. Okay, not too bad. I had to take two Mulligans. That's not very good. So we're going to put Hetarina in play because I know what's one of its attacks. We're going to hit done. What Pokemon you got there, buddy? You got a V or a GX. It would not surprise me if you did where a tag team starting off. See, I think if you're able to get a GX or a tag team right off the bat, it means your deck is chock full of V, GX, and uh, VMAX Pokemon. I can't believe it asks you if you want to do that. Okay, so I have a couple options here. Um, first of all, I, I'm... What's its attack? No, it takes 30, so I'm not worried about its attack at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm not going to activate that. Let's see. Um, I can't use Find a Friend because it's my first turn, so I guess I'll just end my turn for now. I always forget that. I'm trying to figure out why I'm not hearing any audio. It's because I always mute the damn thing. Okay, my turn again. So, let's use Find a Friend. I'm able to choose a Pokemon from my deck and add it, put it on my bench. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Put Mew V on our bench. Oh, and that, that's right, it makes my turn out. I should have put the Psychic Energy on somebody. Oh, well, I can put it on Mew next turn. It's my weakness. Uh, dark, I'm fine. You, you need, oh, that's not good. Bone was on your bench when you... Bone was... Ooh. Nasty attack. It's going to take at least two turns, though, so I've got some time. Knock me out. Plus, the more energy puts on, the more stronger my Mew gets anyway. So I'm going to put the Citrus Berry item on Mew. I'm going to play Roxy. that lets me discard one Gengar. To draw two cards. Three cards, my bad. I got the switch card too, and I managed to get the one the world does call with the dust dust blocks. That's nice. Um so we're gonna play Find a Friend again. And we're gonna grab someone I should grab Dust Nor out of my deck if it's in my it's not in my deck. Okay, well, <laughs> there goes that idea. Let's grab a Mew too. Ooh, the holographic one definitely. Alright. A lot of people use this with the Find a Friend so you can put Pokemon into your deck, and I found that a lot of Pokemon are really good. Okay, so he's going to play Pokeball. Tails, we did, he normally he get to add his card to his deck if it was Ted's, but he got Tails. He has another. Yeah, he has a bunch of those Jealous Gala spots. Don't tell you six cards in your hand. Okay. Don't bother me. I might have to play some... Ooh, I could do that too, couldn't I? Decisions, decisions. Okay, Ultra Ball lets you discard two cards to add a Pokemon from your deck to your hand. However, I heard the point of using an Ultra Ball because you have to discard two cards. Um, yes, you can use however many you want to a turn, but you have to keep discarding two cards every single time. I prefer the the um, either the Pokemon Communication item or the other one because it lets you just shuffle one card in your deck or lets you pick one out uh, one outright. Put Mew in play. Um, now, before I go any further, let's do some quick math here. So 20, uh, yeah, this is gonna, this should not come out in one shot. Nope. I was a little off. 130. A couple things I could do here, too, that, well, maybe not. I'm surprised you can go for his GX attack. Stitch Berry hurts 3 damage from Mew. That's good. Do another cycle. Let's put Mew 2 on the bench. I forgot to put him on the bench earlier. Oh, I could put a Sword on the top of my deck. I wasn't even paying attention to that ability. That's pretty cool. I think I can use that next turn. Um, Sable. I should definitely put an energy on Mew. Um, let's play this Professor's Research. Let's be discard 3 cards in my hand and draw 7 cards. So, should be able to get something here. Of course, now I get Hatterene and uh, Hatter... 
or hat term in Hatterene after I've already done that before. Okay, so Golf Spot Z, because that was a GX Pokemon, I believe we could draw two. I think it's two cards instead of one. Or is it three? I think it's two. Yeah, two. Alright. She's going to use, obviously, first impression this turn. We're actually going to do. Yeah, that's it. You're going to knock me out, I think. Why didn't you. Oh, his deck is all screwed up. He has, his deck is multiple, therefore he couldn't use any attacks because he only has Sludge Scatter. That sucks, dude. It really does, actually. That's why I don't use a lot of mixed... That's why I have a hard time using a Dragon deck. So let's find something here. What do we got in our... Do I have another Hatterene in my deck? I do not. I thought I did. Let's grab Lunatone. Probably got to chose something else, but... I'm going to say I'm going to that allows me to get two energy from my deck... Or my graveyard, or discard pile because people don't like the same graveyard. Ooh, and put it back in my hand. X ball. So he needs a. Now he needs a grass energy to attack me. If he doesn't have one, then his Pokemon is forfeit. Pokeball. So considering he's using Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, and all that, I'm guessing he just kind of did a bunch of stuff. What was that? Must be his ability. All right, do what you got to do. I can't mess with them, though. The one and two. Hmm. Let's put an energy on Dusclops. Play Roxy again, because I don't have any news for both Hatterene or Hatterene if I don't have them in my deck. So let's discard those, and I draw three cards for each one I discard. All right, pretty good. Another energy retrieval. Let's activate that. Because I can't have... There's not a limit to the amount of cards I can have in my hand. I got so much second energy now. So I'm going to play Confounding Pulse. I'm going to switch to his alone Geotune. That Pokemon will be now confused because of uh, Hattery's attack. He also needs two to retreat, which doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. Rock Pulse only activates during the next turn, so... I'm fine on that. Why would he do anything? Even if you did, it wouldn't help you. I would not get on the next turn anyway. I sometimes don't understand people. Like, just in general. Okay. So now we're going to go with... I forgot to put an energy on him. Alright, I guess I'm going with Confounding Pulse again. I forgot to put an energy on Hatterene, so therefore I screwed that up. Hmm. Also, I'm using OBS. I think we could figure out how to get... Like, I know you could do it without getting an actual green screen. You actually get the... Uh, without, you can do it without the green screen, but I want to get rid of the background behind me. Just kind of show me. Even though I probably won't get much people to look at, considering I'm fugly. By the way, in case no one understands what that means, it means effing on me. I've had people ask me that before. What does that mean? I was like, well, uh, do you want me to tell you or do you want to be offended? Because <laughs> I've told people they're fugly before and they're like, and I've had it actually let someone say that and they told me thank you. So Mental Cross is going to do a bunch more damage now because he's confused. 180. Ooh, Gardevoir B. And Dustnor. There's Dustnor finally. Dustnor is a good Pokemon. Okay, so I can only lose one more Hatterene and one more Pokemon before he before he draws all his cards. But if I take out his top his topo, he can um I can knock him out, I can end this game. Top with Thunder GX. Okay, so he uses GX attack. Put dust bus clops up. We're going to put Cardor B on the bench. Attach one energy to Cardor B and we're going to put Evolve Dust Nor into Dust Clops. Or dust claps into dust norm, my bad. So psych, psych up does 60 damage during the first turn, and then every turn after that it does 60 more damage. So if he can knock me out in one turn, great. If he can't, then I've got him. Unless he switches. Nest ball, I forget what that does. So deck for a baseball and put it on your bench to solve your deck. Um, there's another thing I'd like to mention too. If you have no Pokemon left, if you still have Pokemon on your bench and I have draw my prize cards, I win. Or the, the opponent wins, whoever wins, because it seems like people will just keep putting energy on cards even though they've already lost. 
And I don't understand the logic behind doing that when you know you're going to lose in the next turn. What's he going to do here? Yeah, so he can only do Sky High Quads, which is enough to knock me out. So now we're going to play, put an energy on Gardevoir V. I'm going to say well played because it was well played. Go for Psych Up. Now it does 120 damage. And I draw my last two cards. There's Koga's Trap. I could have used that earlier. Victory. So this card, this deck works really well. Better than I remember it working, actually. Did, it, did I do enough damage? Nope. I only did like 750, I think. 740. I mean, 740. That's, that's pretty high. All right. Oh, hang on. I gotta get my rewards. There's my chests. There's a couple chests. Or a chest, my bad. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. I have to thank everyone for watching. We edited my deck and it seems to be working pretty good. I thank everyone for watching this video. If you want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.